wa taita Taveta County tulipata habari za kutamausha. Jumatano hii tumepata habari kwamba um, CEC waziri wa Lands uh, Energy na Physical Planning kwamba amesitishwa na bunge la county la Taita Taveta uh, la hapa katika, katika Taita Taveta County. Na kuna mengi ya kuzungumzia juu ya hilo. Lakini mmoja wapo ni kuwa katika mchakato wa kutaka kumondoa kuna unyama umetendeka. Kuna kitu kimecho tendeka ambacho kwa mwananchi yote ambao ana nia njema na uongozi na wananchi wengine wa Kenya ni kitendo cha unyama. Huyu mama tumepata kupata tumepata habari na tumejua kwamba wakati huu ambao ameitwa katika county assembly alikuwa ni mgonjwa amekuwa akipata matibabu na Nairobi Hospital na amekuwa ni mgonjwa wa saratani hata wewe ukimwona ambao si daktari ambao hujihusishi na maswala ya udaktari utajua huyu ni mgonjwa wakati ameitwa nimepata kukutana naye na unazungumza naye na kwa muda anashikilia mkono anakuambia saratani inaenda kupungua lakini kuna mkono wake ni mgonjwa na hivyo ameitwa na county assembly sasa hicho ni kitendo cha unyama kuwa kwamba mtakwenda kumhoji mtu na mtu ameenda hospitalini ni mgonjwa mchakato huo ulikuwa ni mchakato ambao hauna haujali haki ya mtu maana tocha ni mmoja wapo wa kiuka human, human rights za watu haki za binadamu ni muhimu tuelewe kwamba ni kitendo cha unyama kuweza kufanya kitendo kukua na kitu kama hicho alitoka kwa county assembly akahujiwa lakini hata hata mapema ya hapo tumeona picha kwamba ameitwa na county assembly kwenda kuelezea mambo wakati yeye yuko katika kitanda cha hospitali ni unyama gani wa namna hiyo ambao unafanywa na viongozi wetu viongozi wetu waelewe kwamba ka, kimsingi kimsingi katika demokrasia yetu kiongozi yote aliyo ali hapo ni dhamana ni amepatiwa is just entrusted with leadership wale ni representative tu wa wananchi walio na nguvu ni wananchi wenyewe na hao wanayofanya yanafaa ku represent feelings za watu mwananchi wa kawaida yote mwenye nia njema na hata wa Kenya wote wangekijua na kuelewa kitendo kama hiki wangeweza kusimamisha hicho wangeweza kusimamisha mahojiano haya ya utenda kazi wake awe ni dhambi alifanya kufanya dhambi lakini hali ile ambao imekuwa amekuwa akihojiwa ni hali ya kinyama huwezi kwenda kumtoa mtu hospitali huwezi kumleta mtu ukaja ukumhoji wakati anausikia uchungu ndani ya mwili wake wakati ana magonjwa mabaya kama saratani ni unyama ambao haufai mimi kama mmoja wapo katika kaunti hii mpiga kura na mwananchi wa Kenya nasema kwamba na halani kitendo kama hicho mtu kama hata kama amefanya dhambi hata kama amefanyika ya namna gani lazima apate matibabu kwanza awe na afya njema ukiwa unazungumza naye unazungumza na mtu ambao yuko na katika hali njema ieleweke kabisa na nirudie kwamba hiyo ni kukiuka human rights za mtu torture is actually abuse of human rights ni kitu kiovu sana na mimi hata ningesema hivi kwamba wakati huu uh, county ambao county assembly imekusha ime jieleza imekusha fanya maamuzi yake imefika najua hatua nyingine ni kwamba iende kwa governor ningemomba governor wa Taita Taveta county aliangalie huo aangalie ule mchakato aangalie ni kitu gani kikubwa maana unyama huu ukiendelea hivi basi hatutakuwa na viongozi basi hata watu watafuatwa hata kaburini waende wakashtakiwe akatolewa kaweko jela kwanza ndio kazikwe mm. eh so kitu kama hicho tafadhali tunaomba kwamba uh, kisitishwe na pia tungetaka hata human rights watch hata wale ambao wale amnesty international waangalie maamuzi haya ya mchakato huu ulikuwa katika hali gani katika mazingara gani eh, katika maana yake alikuwa katika mazingara ya kinyama ujali afya ya mtu nini mtu anacho baada ya kwamba si hata wenzetu wakiwa na ugonjwa tu angeweza kuweza kustahimili Maswala kama hayo wakati yeye ni mgonjwa alafu sasa ije kuwa kwamba yeye ni mgonjwa wa saratani lazima katika uongozi wetu
tueleo kwamba uongozi ni dhamana na uongozi wetu uwe na huruma za kibinadamu na uonyeshe ubinadamu na roho nzuri kwa binadamu wenzetu. Hicho ndo kitu kinanifanya nizungumze leo nasikia uchungu ndani ya roho yangu kuona mkenya mwingine anateswa kwa sababu hata anajua masuala mengine si maswala kwamba yana haki ndani yake ni ufisadi tumtupe. Sasa sitaki kuzungumzia hilo swala lakini ni kwamba tuwe wa binadamu tuwe na watu wenye huruma na nyia njema na nchi hii na kuangalia wenzetu ambao wako katika hali mbovu ya kiafya tuwasamee tuangalie kwamba hao wana hali mbaya tuangoje kama ana maswala ya kuulizwa wakati afya yake ikiwa ikiwa njema awachwe apone aje mezani tukamuuliza maswali kama ana makosa basi kama ni kwa impisi impisi lakini katika hali ile ilifanywa ile mazingira alikuwa si mazingira sawa wala hilo hilo hicho kilikuwa ni kitendo cha unyama unyama usio kifanya nashukuru sana kwa hilo Kwa majina naitwa Paul Olinga na mimi ni e, mwanaharakati wa masuala ya ardhi hususan ardhi ya kijamii na nafanya kazi na shirika moja ambalo linaitwa Clan ambao ni Committee Land Action Now ambalo lina ushirikiano na jamii kadha kadha hususan kama hamsini across Kenya So yangu kwa hili swala ningependa tu nigusie jambo moja kwamba kwanza nimemfahamu eh, waziri wa lands wa Taita Taveta County kwa muda wa miaka mwaka kama mmoja takriban mwaka mmoja na nusu na mimi nasema kwamba kando na eh, changamoto ya afya ambayo amekuwa kifesi tangu hao appointed ni kwamba ni mtenda kazi e, kuanzia tuanze kuwa na ushirikiano na yeye karibu mwaka jana ameweza kurahisisha e, huu mchakato wa usajili wa ardhi za kijamii katika kaunti yetu ya Taita Taveta e, kwa njia kubwa sana na mfano nitoa tu mfano moja katika eneo la Mwatate kuna ardhi moja ambayo ilikuwa inamilikiwa na mtu binafsi kwa kipindi cha miaka e, takriban 42 na sasa tuko katika zoezi ya kuisajili ili ingie mikononi mwa wananchi wa hiyo eneo ni kwamba aliweza kuwezesha hiyo uh, process na akawe publish le, notice of intention ambayo ilikuwa imekuwa publish mwaka jana mwezi wa pili na kando ya hiyo aliweza kuhakikisha ya kwamba hiyo jamii imeweza kuweka ile mikakati ya kwanza kusajili ardhi yao kuhakikisha kwamba kamati ipo na kuhakikisha kwamba pia ameihusisha e hii tume ya usajili wa ardhi Kenya National Land Commission kwa namna yake ambayo sasa ileweza kufungua milango ili kurahisisha hiyo process so mimi nasema kwamba huyu e, madam anaweza kuwa labda na e, weaknesses zake za, za utendakazi hapa na pale ambayo assembly yetu ileweza kupinpoint lakini ukiangalia zile advantage ambayo alikuwa nazo katika utendakazi wake in spite of ile health ambayo imetajwa na mwanzangu hapa ni kwamba huyu ni mmoja wale watendakazi wazuri zaidi. Kweli mtu kosolewa, mtu unyoroshwa, lakini utendakazi wake hata ukiangalia labda mwanzangu mwingine atagusia masuala ya, ya, ya fedha ambayo yuko kwa doketi yake utakuta kwamba yeye ameenda nje ya mipaka kwa kisha kwamba amewezesha hii usajili wa ardhi ufanyike kwa namna ambayo ni nzuri. <coughs> Sorry, ingine ambayo inaweza kugusia zaidi ni kwamba usajili wote wa ardhi ama ulindaji wote wa ardhi ya umma ama ya kijamii ama tele ya binafsi inataka washikadau wa wote waweze kushirikiana wawepo wale viongozi wa kuchaguliwa ambao wako kwa assembly iwepo ni wabunge iwepo ni gavana iwepo hata labda ni opinion leaders na wale maafisa wa ardhi ambao wanafanya kazi hapa katika hii kaunti ya Taita Taveta hata wale ambao wanafanya nje ya Taita Taveta hususan labda wizara ardhi Nairobi hata National Land Commission Nairobi hiyo inataka ile ambayo inaitwa concerted efforts wote waweze kushirikiana sasa hili swala la kuweza kupini mtu mmoja ya kwamba matatizo yote ya ardhi taita taveta yanawekwa kwa mgongo wa mhusika mmoja ambaye amekuwa ofisini kwa kipindi cha chini ya miaka miwili nafikiri ya kwamba hilo si sawa tangu Kenya ipate uhuru 
matatizo ya ardhi hususan taita tavete amekuwa ndio swala nyeti viongozi waliopita wengi wamegusia masuala haya pasipo uh, matokeo ambayo ni bora na kuja kuipin kwa mtu mmoja kwamba anatakana hao umetatua hayo masuala yote kwa kipindi ya takriban chini ya miaka miwili nafikiri si si si, si, si zuri it's unfair na pia kwa upande wa wanawake this is a person who in less than a year with almost a zero budget eh ameza kufanya yale ambayo nimetaja na wanawake we need them also to speak out wale viongozi wa kuchaguliwa ambao wanashirikiana naye whether wako wa assembly whether ni wabunge they need to speak out ya kwamba hapa inakuwa ni tunakuza mtu ama tunakata mtu miguu maana we need to grow leaders kubalisha kila wakati hiyo si zuri awamu ya kwanza ya serikali ya ugatuzi hatukuwa na impeachment yote those weaknesses were there na na kika kwamba wale wanawake ambao walisave kwa awamu ya kwanza kuna wengine hata wana na national commission eh, Nairobi tuna kina Linda Timau they were grown ya yeah? awamu ya pili ya, ya serikali ya ugatuzi hatukuwa na impeachment in spite of all the weaknesses ambazo zilikuwepo so mimi na, 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 nataka ni rai viongozi wetu whether wale ambao kwa assembly ama wale ambao kwa katika labda ni wabunge wa kushaguliwa na kadhalika waweze kuhakikisha kwamba masuala kama haya especially utatuzi wa matatizo ya ardhi yawe ni ya ushirikiano ya wao wote assembly ilo tendo ambao walifanya kivyangu ni dhuluma kubwa sana na inafaa kukashifiwa na kukaripiwa viongozi wengine ambao hapo wameweza kuwa mstari wa mbele kuweza kumweka nani kwa msalaba ya wao wenyewe cannot escape blame maeneo yao ambao wanaishi kuna matatizo ya ardhi na wao wenyewe in one way or another hawezi kuepuka lawama we ukianzia sehemu ya Taveta hadi Kasigao hadi Voi hadi wapi kuna wengine wao hao hao hawezi ku escape them so mimi nataka ya kwamba hili swala liangaliwe upya na pia ningependa kumrai bwana governor wataita Taveta hili swala ajue ya kwamba linamuhusu na pia aweze kuliangalia kwa kwa, kwa uzuri zaidi mzangu hapa ametaja kwamba hiyo ripoti ishapita kweli kwa assembly walipigia kura wakasema kwamba hiyo eh, impeachment ishapita na sasa hii inaenda kwa governor he, he has to look into it angalia hiyo process ilikuwa imeanza namna gani whether all the due process was followed ama it was just a case whereby ilikuwa imearakishwa tu ili waweze kutimiza haja yao so mimi napenda tu nisema kwamba swala ya ardhi ni pana ni nyeti ni zito na ninataka washi, wa, washikada wote whether wale wa kwa assembly ama wa national assembly wa viongozi wa kuteuliwa na wale wa kuchaguliwa wote waweze kuliangazia kwa pamoja yangu ni nipenda kugusia hayo sana asante eh? oh ni kisha hapa amana kisha kwa majina naitwa Isabela Kidede uh, mwanaharakati wa masuala ya bajeti uh, tukiangazia swala hili uh, lote la impeachment ya waziri wa lands mining energy and physical planning and physical planning uh, kwanza kabisa ni kuweza tu kuongelelea yale um, mwenzangu ameweza kuongelelea wenzangu wameweza kuongelelea Uh, tukiangalia maswala haswa ya uchanganuzi wa maswala ya kifedha ni kuwa ile department of lands mining energy na physical planning kwa bahati mbaya zaidi it is the department ambayo huwa kwanza allocation yake huwa ni ndogo zaidi than most of those departments. na ni ile department ambayo ikifika wakati wa supplementary budget it is one of those departments ambayo utapata zile pesa ambazo zilikuwa zimetengwa pale zimetolewa na zikaweza kuwekezwa mahali pengine and unfortunately like the first uh, supplementary budget from development to recurrent expenses sasa huyu waziri tuseme kama um, uh, department ya lands au uh, kwanza upande wa mining uh, in this budget about the one that we are currently implementing 2023 2024 Department nzima ya mining ilikuwa na, ilikuwa allocated 30 million na saa, kwa sasa iko na 0 million. Uh, as we are looking into the next financial year 
wizara ya mining ukiangalia upande wa lands ukiangalia mining ukiangalia energy ukiangalia physical planning haijaweza kuwekezewa hata shilingi hata moja ina zero budget sasa yule waziri mkuu mnataka afanye kazi vipi ikiwe muhana hata allocation ya fedha katika ile department yake bila allocation ya fedha that means yule mama amejaribu sana alikuwa na goodwill alikuwa tayari ana ana muonekano manake alikuwa ameelewa um, the, the manifesto na ile azma ya serikali ya, ya, ya gavana Mwadime lakini now it is unfortunate that amekuwa impeached na county assembly tu we are trying to nurture uh, women leaders uh, i'm sure the governor akimu, akimu teua, waziri alikuwa hajamteua tu kujaza ile space kwa sababu ya affirmative action alikuwa amemteua kwa sababu alielewa uwezo wake na nguvu zake katika ile kazi yake but it's so unfortunate that now uh, as even as women we are not sure if that impeachment goes through na tayari imeenda imeshaisha pale kwa assembly hatujui kama atateuliwa mwanamke ama atateuliwa tena mwanamme na kama atateuliwa mwanamke atakuwa na uwezo wa kuweza kupush Uh, kufanya mambo with a zero budget mm. uh, kwa sababu kusema la ukweli for the first two years huyu uh, waziri ameweza kufanya mambo with a zero budget na yale hajaweza kufanya ni kwa sababu ile department haina budget vile mwanzangu Olinga amesema hapa wameweza kufanya ile kazi mwatate ai ni, niko na tashwishi kama ile kazi itaweza kuendelea kwa sababu ile wizara kwa sasa wana bajeti kwa sasa haina bajeti na kwa bajeti inayokuja haijaetengewa hata shilingi. Kwa hivyo yule mama alijaribu sana na kuweza kumuimpeach katika ile njia um, has caused a lot of emotional torture. I'm sure. Eh, because eh, if you are not eh, you know physically fit na huku kwazi unaambiwa kazi inaweza kuisha unajua inakuwa tayari you've uh, really uh, disabled mentally. E, katika ile hali yake. Kwa hivyo uh, inapoenda kwa governor. E, the governor should look into this matter with also Brit and angalie kabisa e, kuwa on how to approach this matter na waziri jamani aweze kuangaliwa ni vipi na ile kazi yake. And even if we, we want to do impeachments for example. My, my colleague said this is the first impeachment. We should uh, do uh, all the due process na tuangalie kweli if hizi misunderstanding ni kidogo manake kila mtu ana mapungufu yake mm. haya mapungufu yanaweza kufanyoja yanaweza kuangaliziwa kivipi ili yakaweze kudhibitiwa mm. other than you know just removing mm. eh, a cc in office kwa sababu akija mwingine aanze kitambo process ya ku appoint mm. ya nini it will take time It will take time to have that docket which is a very very delicate docket in this county. Ile docket ni docket very delicate. So kitambo waziri aje labda afanyiwe ndaniyo appoint interview afanyiwe nini itakuwa imechukua na ile docket tayari kwanza haina hata shilingi itakuwa imelala. So if the assembly that it needed to allocate money you know from the executive it didn't see because the budget ikifika kwake they can have amendments or not mm. but they did not see the importance of even allocating money in that department then i don't even think they are even serious on how they plan to solve those issues the land issues in this county mm. so uh, governor the ball is in your court <coughs> Okay like um, right now one unfortunate the unfortunate thing is that our mm, labda currently the the pesa amba nimeona kama for the, the this financial year kuna some monies that have not been absorbed but it's not the only department that has failed to absorb the development budget it is only water ambayo ili absorb development budget 11 million the other departments have not have not absorbed any development budget because 
uh, waziri wa fedha alisema allocation ilichelewa ku, kufika mm. donor funding did not come na haiku that's why the development budget was less than 5% so that means it's not like the waziri wa lands peke yake ndo alifail ku absorb her development budget uh, and now that aside the development budget that is being put uh, for for that department mm. aside Aha. the coming financial year in the recent CFSP the the, the lands mining um, energy and physical uh, planning department had zero a zero budget it has a zero budget that means in the financial year 2024-2025 there are no projects she's only running salaries and the recurrent budget for that department that means hakuna budget ya development kwa hivyo wale wanangojea surveys Eh, zifanywe kwa katika um, eh, maeneo yao na waliambua labda zile survey hazikuweza kufanywa they'll be put to the next budget they should forget because you cannot eh, purport to be doing a project when there are no allocations mm. unatoa api hiyo pesa hakuna mm. so alikuwa absorb na nini na, na hata hiyo pesa hakukuwa nayo and it's not all the departments have not absorbed the money because of of reasons waziri wa fedha alitoa so akuna department imeweza ku absorb even 2% of their development budget so mnataka kusema kwa kweli sasa hizi yeye ndo anashida as absorbs water when water is there yeah so if there's no water hata sponge hiyo kubwa hivi but even that department ya lands na mining na energy if a department ilikuwa imepewa by june ilikuwa imepewa 13 million by september iko na 0 million hiyo directorate ya mining what are we saying a, a mining directorate ambayo from mining we are getting 51 million for the last financial year in royalties na mnaipatia zero budgets what are you really trying to communicate as as a county both executive and the assembly and now you want that woman to do magic it can't work waziri hazifanya magic na hana pesa yeah do you feel the impeachment is somehow political is it man hunt uh, man which hunt which hunt kwamba kuna maswala mengi ambayo hayajajibiwa mwanzangu mwingizi wangu alisema hapa kwamba maswala ya ya mashamba ya madini physical planning na energy ni maswala ambayo yamekuwa kwa muda mrefu na majibu yake hayawezi kuwa kwamba ni mtu mmoja ameamkalia mmkalia mtu mmoja na hata tunasikia habari ambazo kidogo Uh, zinatatanisha na tungependa viongozi hawa hao ambao wamemshtaki wakatoke wazi wajieleze mm. uh, kuna list za voi point ambayo iliongezwa tunataka kujua ni wakati gani ni nani walikuwa viongo wakati katika, katika uongozi kuna plot zilipeana utility plots ambazo anatakikana kuzi, kuzipitisha for development na zinamshinda apitishe vipi eh, maana nani alizipeana hizo plot za utility hapa voi na kwa nini wanalazima wana kwamba ipitishwe kwa zipitishwe kwa development haraka haraka eh, so kuna maswala kama hayo ha, hii hi, ploti tunasikia hii ya, ya bata kwamba bata walipewa wao wakauza kulikuwa na maswala gani ni wakati gani huo ambao hii bata ilipewa na nakumbuka ni miaka ya sabini na nani huyu wakati akiuzwa ni nani huyu alikuwa hapo katika uongozi na mbona hakupinga wakati huo na kulitokea nini ni, 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 ni vitu gani ambavyo viliendelea tunataka uongozi wote hawa viongozi ambao wako sasa wasimwekee wasi uchafu wote tupate story yote tupa, tupa, ndio tujue waamuzi utafanywa kivipi maana story ikianza kwamba ni huyu ni huyu hapana so tunaona kwamba kuna njaa mafiche kuna vi, maswala hapo ndani ambayo lazima yatolewe yote sio kukalia mtu mmoja wacha ni mwachie mwenzangu naye aendelee labda kwa hiyo leo swala either ilikuwa ni political which and ni kwamba there is normal thin line kuhusiana na maswala ya ardhi na siasa very thin line na utaangalia mara nyingi utakuta maswala ya ardhi mwingine anaweza amekuwa labda kusema kusema kwamba past yeah eh, especially current and past at least same future yeah cannot exp- i mean escape blame when it comes to ulegevu kwa maswali ya kwa jos eh, ya ardhi katika hii county ya Taita Taveta ndugu yangu hapa amezungumzia maswali ya voi 
sasa hii mwatate kuna changamoto ambayo inaanza kutokea upande wa shamba la Taita Estate inasemekana kwamba kuna sehemu ambayo itagawanywa iuzwe but it's in a very opaque manner haijulikani sasa jana ndo notice imetoka ya, ya kujaribu kufanya ile inaitwa change of user yeah? lakini wakati mwenye shamba alikuwa anafanya mkutano wa ghafla eh? hakuwa na afisa wetu wa ardhi wa county hakuwa na any official county officials wa ardhi hata bunge hakuweko hata assembly yenyewe department of lands hata chia mwenyewe hakuweko so hivyo eh, watakuja tena kulalamikia waziri wa ardhi ama sisi wake ya kwamba wamekuwa walegevu na shamba kule inataka kuuzwa ya yeah? Alafu kiangalia hapo huwa nao positioning themselves to be the brokers wa kuuza hiyo shamba. Kuna wanasiasa wengine wakitambua melain hapo hapo. Mwingine alikuwa mbunge, mwingine alikuwa women rep. Wao oh, sasa ndio wako msaru wa mbele kusema sasa ukiuza hii sijui faida sijui itakuwa ni sijui commission, you know. Sasa hii yote itakuja tena kuwekwa kwa mabega ya mtu mmoja if things go south. So ile nataka kugusia hapa ni kwamba kweli there might be some political uh, undertones in this na ndo maana tumeulizea kwamba governor aelewe ya kwamba haya mambo yakiendelea hivi it's, it's very simple and I, I, i can use this when uh, wale if you say a pack of uh, predators wakienda kuinda mnyama wakishambulia mnyama mmoja wakishauma paja hata yatapo watauma sehemu nyingine ya mwili mpaka wamalize kabisa kwa hiyo sasa hii governor juu ya kwamba ni paja limeumwa. Sasa, kwa hiyo hawa predators hawataachia hapo. Watenda watauma kichwa, watauma nini na watammaliza akiwa hiyo nyama akiwa hiyo mnyama akiwa hai. So what I want to say ni kwamba hili swala la ardhi should be addressed with all the leaders. We have past leaders who are alive. Yeah? We have present leaders who are already in office. Can they now sit down together and address haya maswala ambayo yako hapa voi? ya yeah, kuna looming evictions here in Voi ukiangalia masuala ya siju Catholic Church kuna siju NTSA land bado hii uh, ilifanyika December juzi haijakuwa addressed ya msambweni kuna issue ya Voi point kuna masuala ya mwatati hapo eh singila majengo haijakuwa addressed i remember in the awamu ya kwanza ya serikali ya, ya, ya county kuna agreement ilikuwa imekuwa signed between Taita Estate na county government no one knows the details and all those details are there County Assembly has never bothered to know what are the contents of that agreement then. Ikiwa sahi, shamba ya baadhi sehemu ya shamba ya Taita Estate inataka kuuzwa na igawanye gawanye plot. Has the County Assembly ever asked for the details? How wamenyamaza? Interveta you have problems there in uh, Machungwani and what not. Ah maswali yote anataka all the leaders wakuje pamoja na waamue kabisa ku resolve haya maswala na ku address in, in the best way possible. Yes. Thank you.